designed to save the world. People who have looked to the sky and see hope. I'll take that from them first. There's only one path to peace. There are extinction. I tried to create a suit of armor around the world. But I created something terrible. Artificial intelligence. It's called the Ultron program. I'm sick of watching people pay for our mistakes. Isn't why we fight so we can end the fight and go home? Well, you amazingly failed. <laughs> Here we all are. With nothing but our wit and our will to save the world. So stand and fight. No way we all get through this. I got no plans tomorrow night. I'm always picking up after you, boys. We can tear them apart. From the inside. That's the best you can do! <laughs> you had to ask. Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons or advancements. More like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vibrant, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish to hear energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. From the wind. Watch how I saw. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Say Sci Fi Podcast. This is the first ever special edition podcast focusing specifically on. Ah, uh, wow. Avengers Age of Ultron. Apparently, even on my off days, I still can't remember stuff. <laughs> Spoilers. 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 This will be a full spoiler podcast. That's right. River Song is in the house. Spoilers. Spoilers. Spoiler. So joining me today on the podcast, we have Amy. Hey, yo. We have Scarecrow. Good evening. And we have Stuart. Hi, everybody. And we went and we watched uh, Avengers about 24 hours ago um, at the one of the first screenings, probably, relative, around the world. Um, a little oh. bit before they were technically meant to, probably, but yeah. <laughs> well, don't worry, I'm not bro. complaining. It was good. <laughs> So, first off, spoiler free, what did you guys think? Just for the first five minutes, spoiler free. It was good. Give me more, give me more, give me, give me, give me more. <laughs> uh, I, was, I, I kind of got, got sick of the whole um, Romanoff banner love story. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Um. I was just like, uh, why? Nah. Because it works. Not, not yeah, to but... mention, for the first time in history of anything Marvel, yeah, we have a complete inverse from what normally happens in the comics when these two titans clash. Yeah. <laughs> we will cover this in full depth later. Oh, yes. So, yeah. Anyway, I, I actually really enjoyed it. I put a really short, brief um, review up on Save Sci-Fi this morning. So it was... It would, I would probably rate it as one of the best Marvel movies they've made. Which, considering it's Marvel and considering every movie they make seems to lift the bar, the fact that they're still lifting it at this point really says something. 
unlike DC. Yeah, the, DC just, just can't seem to put a consistent universe together. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. You could say that again. Anyway, we're not talking about that. <laughs> we're, to put it we're, we're, we're talking Avengers. Let's, let's stay on topic for at least a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, time to go full spoilers. The movie kicked off with um, the Avengers retrieving Loki's scepter, which was last seen at the, was it the end of Avengers... I thought... No, it was... Civil yeah. War? No, 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 Civil War. Ooh, I'm getting way ahead of myself there. Yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> End of um, Soldier? Yeah. No, no, uh, was it End of Winter Soldier? End, yes, end credits yes, for Winter it was, Soldier? It was in yes, last scene, re- yeah, credits of no, no. Winter Soldier with Hydra making off with it. Yeah, that's yes. right. And you, and you got to see the twins in the... For the first time. For the first time. And since then, they've stabilised and sort of not being as weird. Um, uh, debat- debatable. Yeah. <laughs> Well, considering in there they were zipping around at full speed and sort of mutating quite catastrophic. Badly. Words. Yeah. Yeah, because words and then working, they just don't. Um, yeah. And now it's their de- abilities are definitely more stable. So, in this movie, they introduce a couple of new characters. We've they introduce Vision later on, but the two that they sort of introduce early on are Quicksilver, who quite rapidly kicks Captain America's ass <laughs> and um, Scarlet Witch who's doesn't have her normal ability the normal abilities are meant to be to muck with sort of probability but in this her ability is very similar to sort of Loki's scepter in a lot of respects she can it, play with people's fear she yeah. can bring them to life and amplify them yeah she Which, can and send shockwaves out yeah she can ma- manipulate people's heads and telekinetically control objects She's Which so. like, really she's... does kick. Realistically, it comes down to the entire movie is her fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. I thought it was more Stark's fault. Well, no, see, so she because she manipulated Stark's uh, Fi... leftover issues from the first Avengers movie. Yeah. Which he ha- had started to deal with in the course of Iron Man three, but hadn't quite got there. She then brought them back to the fore and amplified them, which yeah. sent him paranoid, which made him go out and go, "I'm going to create an." A suit of armor for the planet, so I don't have to worry about this shit anymore. Yeah. Well, it was hinted at that they were planning on making Ultron before that, but they could never quite make an AI remotely close to as powerful as Jarvis. Um, and he wasn't going to give up Jarvis. And yeah, he didn't want to give up Jarvis, which, which honestly don't blame him. Jarvis is awesome. Come on, you have to laugh though about Captain America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my the favorite part of the beginning. Shit. Language! <laughs> yeah. And it continued through the whole yeah. movie. Oh, yeah. They, they I mean, ran that game to even death. Fury got in on it. <laughs> uh, that, admittedly, um, I did feel that a lot of the jokes in this movie felt forced. If I have to pick a downside, I'd say some of the jokes felt forced. Some of the dialogue felt a little bit out of place, like not as smooth ish. Or maybe that was just because I was in pain for most of the first time I watched it. No, it wasn't so much that. It was, it did feel a little forced. Like they were putting on a happy face to keep the team together. Yeah. Because this is still, they're still dealing with a lot of extra extra crap. They never got the chance to get over the aftermath of New York. The, New York. Of New York. Then Winter Soldier happens, which destroys S.H.I.E.L.D. We've got Coulson and his team running around trying to rebuild it. Yeah. Well, one of one of them, one of the shields. And let's not, and let's not forget to mention uh, Cap learning that Bucky's still alive. Yeah. Mm. Like that messes with your head a lot. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff going on, and um, it Every- sort of it reaches the point where Stark and them get the scepter. They manage to convince Hulk to hang around for a couple of days to celebrate, and while they're doing that, they sort of analyze no, they, the scepter. They convince. Not the Hulk. Sorry, Thor. Thor. They convinced Thor to let them hold onto the scepter for a while. A couple of days. Then Tony decided to be a bright spark and start looking into the scepter more than he should. Yeah. Well, he was analysing it, trying to work out how Loki gained the abilities that he gained and um, eventually discovered that there was actually what appeared to be another AI already inside the scepter. 
and they then sort of went, okay, well, this thing is exponentially more complex than Jarvis, and they used a whole wibbly-wobbly, floaty, hologram sphere thing to represent the AIs. And just look, Jarvis just... was very orbit ordered. Um... Yeah. If it's... I was going to compare Ultron's AI representation to anything, it would be a throwback to an older movie. Remember Stealth? Yeah. The, oh, yes. The way the, that that AI worked, yeah. The it was very ordered, very Jarvis, Jarvis style to start with. And then it took the lightning strike, and then it went all floof everywhere. Yeah. Ultron was more like Edie after the lightning strike. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. and best it was. Part about the, oh, yep. Best part about the uh, the party: drunk Stan Lee. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Excelsior! <laughs> Yeah, don't drink anything um, Thor gives you. Yeah. It's like, this has aged for a thousand years. It's not meant for mortal men. And he <laughs> goes, just... Yeah. As, as he gives <laughs> it to um, Captain America. Uh, yeah, but Cap, Cap's a super soldier. He can handle it. Uh, Cap is not, the old, there's only two people other than Thor in that room who could have handled that stuff. Stark? Cap and Stark. Stark yeah. because he's got more alcohol in his blood than blood. Well... It, it could prove amusing to give it to Hulk and just see what he does. He could just lay down on the ground and start doing snow angels. It's like, Hulk, <laughs> that's not snow. That's body parts. Hulk don't care. Hulk angel. <laughs> oh, oh. And that, Hulk that angel. That is the, uh, as the um, lullaby instead of Natasha. <laughs> so, that, that was actually really cool, the way they did that, I actually thought. The way that they sort of... The Hulk was under control ish under control enough would be one way of looking at it and He's the, like the guided missile you point him at the target let him loose yeah pretty much and, and then come down afterwards and they had this lullaby sequence because in this one they sort of screwed up the hawkeye natasha relationship and it sort of felt really weird because they, they said didn't screw it up they no, no. bent it over the table yeah, well, in the first Avengers, they went out of their way to make it seem like these guys were really close. And even in the Captain America movie, they made it seem like they were close by having um, Natasha wear the arrow necklace for them whenever you sort of saw her. And that sort of hinted that she was in a relationship with him. And then you find out he's got a family and a wife and kids at a secret farm place. Why? No fucking explanation needed. We need a safe house, so let's give it to Hawkeye. And, at, least, at least we know he's not always cock blocked for, for a reason now. Yeah, and then. <laughs> so. He's ninjuring for a reason. Yeah, and then. Um, he's so, the ultimate, he is the ultimate wingman. Yeah. So then it sort of. They, they shifted it a bit based on Natasha's um, interaction with the Hulk in the first movie. So, Black, yeah, Black Widow's interaction with the Hulk in the first movie, and they sort of shifted it and had her as his sort of love interest as to why. Handler. Yeah, as. She could control him where no one else could because deep down there was something there, which was pretty cool. But I, I like the whole point of when Natasha, when they all end up at the safe house. Yeah. And... Tony. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, we, need yeah. You, we need you to go check out the tractor. Please don't make it alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me, no, no, let me if... wait, let me finish. Okay. Oh. I'll get the duct tape if I have to. <laughs> Never. Um... And they walk into the safe, uh, walk into the farm and find out about, um... Mrs. Hawkeye. Hawk yeah. <laughs> and Natasha walks up to her and goes, Oh, little Natasha, because the wife is pregnant. She goes, it's a boy. And the next comment is traitor. <laughs> Leans down to the baby and with his <laughs> traitor. See, now, my, my favourite part of that is just stark as like, uh, they're agents and they're mini agents. <laughs> yeah, she's an she's an agent, and the kids try to do like um, they're mini agents. <laughs> and Stark and Captain America cutting timber. Yeah, you mean Captain America ripping timber apart while Stark no, 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 was cutting? He's, no, no, they were originally cutting. At which point, Cap, uh, later on, Cap get right at the end of the conversation. Cap gets irked at what Stark says. Yeah has a piece of timber in hand and just rips it in half. Yeah. This was one of the videos that was released online ages ago, back um, 
when I can't even remember what it was, but Marvel had a big sort of celebration where they announced Ant Man and all that sort of stuff, and this was teased as part of um, the next Captain America movie, wasn't it? It's part of Civil War, I thought. I don't think it was intentionally linked to um, Ultron. No, they, I think it was they, sort of all separate. they showed it was they showed it as part of Captain America's lore. Yeah. They never said where it was tied into. Everyone just assumed, since it was Cap only, that it was tied to Civil War. Yeah, yeah. That's a fair point. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then Fury comes back, and they sort of try and work out what the hell they're going to do, and they realise that Ultron is actually after um, Vibranium, which is the material Captain America's shield's made from, which is effectively indestructible. <laughs> yeah. Effectively indestruct- indestructible, so... And oh, hey, come on! It takes it takes hits from Thor's hammer. Oh, it takes multiple hits from Thor's hammer just in this movie. Vibration, is anyone? Yeah. Shockwave. <laughs> Cause it's a good vibration. Sorry, oh, I had to. God. <laughs> Space it now. <laughs> uh... I'll stop. That's the, that's the last time you hear me sing. I'm not gonna sing ever again. <laughs> but I think everyone will thank us for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, but yeah, and uh, wow, totally lost my train of thought. Then they sort of work out where he's going for the vibranium, and they go to the giant ship things, and they find a ship full of vibranium, and it's like, well, there you go, Stark, build a suit out of that shit, and you'll be fucking indestructible. I would have surprised he does. Also, yeah. don't forget Andy Serkis losing his arm. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Oops. It, it was. Sorry, it was actually just. Right. It was actually nice just to see him in a movie as him. <laughs> yeah, because we're so used to seeing him as Gollum or something else. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Amy. Just go. Yeah, you'll be okay. Tis but a flesh wound. Tis just a flesh wound. Yeah. Did anyone else throughout that movie feel like Ultron's voice was very Optimus Primeish? Uh, yeah. I felt it was very childlike and sort of innocent, had that sort of not very, very naive, put it that way. It's got the, the na- it, yeah, it's yeah, got that in it. I mean, the image. tone of it. Yeah. Oh, the, the tone of it sounded like Optimus Prime. Uh, well, it's James Spader, so... I don't think it was that I Optimus mean, Prime. It sounded, immature, it sounded like a spoiled, immature brat. Sometimes yeah. he sounded like Starscream. Sometimes he sounded like Optimus. <laughs> Evil Optimus, but still. You get your on. Yeah. Well, he, he actually reminded me a lot of um, In Destiny... Um, the, the video game there's one of the races you've got on that is a robot race and he reminds me a lot of those guys because he's got very similar sort of facial sort of looks it's like someone watched Destiny and went ha ha that's our bad Idea. guy <laughs> come on you uh, he goes he hates Stark and because the twins hate Stark because they uh, they blame Stark for the killed, parents killed yeah and Watching, sitting there watching a bomb that was a dud for three well, days. Technically, it wasn't. That wouldn't have been Stark's fault. That would have been Stain's fault. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wait, but got it has a reactor. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know See it that. that way. They just blame Tony because it has yeah. a Stark symbol on it. Exactly. It's got Stark Industries written on it. Therefore, it's Tony's fault. The, the actual context of the war and who started it and who was being fought against is totally irrelevant. It was Tony's weapon, therefore it yeah. came from Tony's factory, therefore it was Tony's fault. Yeah. Yeah. And like everything. If that ain't Harper, if that isn't Harper, just blame the convenient target. Yeah. And but that... you think about it, that's about isn't that usual? Yeah. It was just as likely to be goddamn hammer industries. Yeah. Actually I would have put more money on it being hammer industries, given the fact it was a dud. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> hammer industries knock off of a Stark product. They put the Stark insignia on it just to piss Tony off. <laughs> uh, um, Chinese clones! <laughs> uh, yeah, cheap Chinese knockoffs. AKA Hammer Industries. So technically, wouldn't you think their new friend would be Mummy and Daddy is Ultron and Jarvis? Um, what? Eh? I lost <laughs> that one. I, I totally no idea what the hell you meant. All uh, I know that was Mummy, Daddy, and Jarvis, and, and Ultron. Yeah. Oh, do you mean Ultron would have been like, oh, Jarvis's daddy, Stark is mummy sort of complex? No, no, no. They knew 
The thing that's got the Infinity Stone in it. Oh, you mean oh. Um, Vision. We, yes. we, we, we'll get into Vision. Jumping here, babe. Yeah. We'll get into Vision in a minute. Actually, it's just pretty much on cue for when Vision came in or what. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then they... So, early uh, Vision on... Gets, Vision gets his... Uh, Ultron builds the body for Vision, mm. wanting to take it over himself. Yeah. And then it gets stolen and... Brain. Yeah. It gets stolen Find by Akasha. Stark and then... Yeah. No, it gets stolen, stolen by the team. Yeah. Yes. So, Vision is effectively a humanoid robot hybrid that has vibranium infused into his cells. Which, and has an Infinity Stone in his head. Which, and has the Infinity Stone from Loki's staff in his head, which makes him redonkulously powerful. But the problem is, the he's got 90% of an AI uploaded into him, but it's Ultron. Yeah. So what are we going to use to... Fill in the difference. Fill in the gaps and try to fix this fucker before he goes kabooey on the planet. The only AI that's been giving Ultron a hard time. An AI... Uh, yeah. They, the the so, only AI in existence that, that makes Cortana jealous is Sim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jarvis! Okay, to be, to be fair, though, Thursday was funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was Friday, not Thursday. It was Friday. Oh, it was a Friday, my mistake. Yeah. Friday. Late, later on, Stark uploaded a new female AI into his suit, which was nowhere near as strong as Jarvis, but is better than nothing. And the name was Friday. So... Hey, look at it this way. At least it wasn't Wednesday. Yeah. Done up as Wednesday Adams in an iron tech suit. Oh god. <laughs> I'm <good. laughs> I know this is okay, I know this is jumping backwards. Yeah. Backwards uh, is fine. What do you think of the Hulkbuster? Oh, oh no, no, no. we missed the Hulkbuster. How no, uh, we didn't miss the Hulkbuster by much. It was what happened was um in when they when they found Marvel break. This when, is where the lore goes completely skewy. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened was the Scarlet Witch got in all their heads, um, except, except for, for Hawkeye. Hawkeye, who's sort of like someone's been in my head already. I don't need you in there. <laughs> <laughs> Zaps her in the A face. A bit of electroshock therapy. It works. <laughs> yeah. Knocked knocked her clean the fuck out and then scattered. Hulk and oh yeah, and Stark was unaffected. Hulk at he's this already been messed with. Yeah. Hulk at this point is rampaging through town you've seen the videos online and um stark rocks up and gets what do you call the suit juliet or violet or natalie. something natalie no you sure sure it's natalie. No, veronica. veronica veronica that's what it's veronica it started with a v i was thinking natalie doesn't they right but yeah veronica um and that's the hulkbuster suit it lives in a, in a on an orbiting platform and it comes down and sort of Sticks all around him and turns into it the whole suit. the same suit. tech as the Mark Forty Two, so he can interchange parts when they take damage. Yeah, and yeah, he it just took damage. And they fight backwards oh, and forwards, damage. backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Hawk. Zordon. Hawk. If you're what? if you're going to morph, do it outside of the podcast. Damn it. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, no, fine. Oh. Put so. your morpher down, Stuart. Which one? I've got about four of them. Man, okay, just anyway, <laughs> back to the fight. Um, the admittedly the Hulkbuster suit held up better than I expected. Because in Marvel law, at no point has t- Iron the Iron Tech Hulkbuster suit ever beaten the Hulk. Yeah, well, I wouldn't necessarily classify it as beating the Hulk as throwing the Hulk literally through a building, which then proceeds to land on both of them. I don't know well, if that classes as a win. I think it more classes as a bit of a draw. <laughs> no, no, no. I count this as a win because of one major thing. The Hulk is out cold, and the Hulkbuster is standing in mostly one piece. Well, he did lose an arm, and then a large chunk of crap off his back, which was replaced. I think they, I think he actually lost, like, uh, five arc reactors? He lost heaps of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I also love that he, that he said, it's like, attack in the back, dick move, Hulk. Yeah. Dick, Dick move, move banner. banner. Dick move. <laughs> oh yeah, don't um and the whole comment of oh yeah, don't mention puny weak person. Yeah. Don't oh yeah. Me- don't oh, yeah. mention puny banner. Yeah. Don't mention puny banner. Puny banner bad. Yeah. Uh, it makes Hulk matter. So but yeah, he basically hammer fit repeat repeatedly hammer fists, aka gypsy danger style, but a far faster rate of pace, 
the Hulk's head with the replacement arm after the first one gets ripped off. Yeah, and so the Hulk grabs it. You see the whole arm shaking as it's still trying to punch but can't do anything. And Hulk's like, yeah, you just, you just it's not anything well for you today, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he puts him down. The Hulk's going, huh? Like, they're both in this rubble pile. Yeah. The Hulk's sitting up and shaking his head going, what? what? Then out of nowhere, just like what um, Hulk did to... Loki to Thor in the last movie. Was it Thor? Uh, just Loki. sucker punched him. Loki, yeah. Just randomly sucker punches him in the side. The Hulk Buster does that to Thor this time. To, not Thor. Hulk. Hulk this time and properly puts him out. Oh, Therefore, yeah. it is a victory to the Hulk Buster for the yeah. first time in history. Yeah. I thought it just knocked common sense back in. No, it outright knocked him out. Okay. As if any of the it put him out. common sense. Yeah, it was that last sucker punch that put him out. He was he'd come back to his senses, but t- they couldn't take the chance. So literally, just wham, out. Yeah. Okay, right in the temple. <laughs> yeah, um, that was a pretty cool fight. And then if uh, that was one of the best in the movie, I feel. Yeah. Um. Okay, S- skipping forward to the the back to vision. Yeah, back to vision. Um, actually, no, skipping f- even further forward than that. They work out where... Um, wow, my brain stopped working. Ultron okay, is hiding uh, up. and they yeah, get, they should get kidnapped during the recover the... Yeah. The, the start. vision body. Yeah. And the twins at this point had been... At, because up until this point, they hadn't been able to read Ultron's mind. But when he was making Vision's body and, being down- and downloading himself into it, um, they sort of got what... They got the ability to sort of glimpse into his mind and the divisions. Yeah, and the divisions head because it's all orga- it's semi organic. Yeah, and uh, Ultron isn't. Yeah, and realized that Ultron was actually planning on exterminating everybody, and that's when the t- the twins turned on him, which actually really hurt him. As like, I th- based on his reaction, I actually think that really hurt him on the inside. He thought that he had these two pets. And it's like his pet dogs turned around and bit him. That's the sort of reaction he had. Um, at least that's how what I felt. What do you guys think? Yeah, same sort of idea. Yeah. He, because he wants. Who is eating their microphone? Because I'm gonna bloody oh, airlock you. I was not eating my microphone. I did have my headset off for a second there. Yeah. Um, yeah. don't airlock me. Um, my thought on this one, it wasn't so much the, um, well, it was everything like you just described, but the real feeling that I felt was running behind that sequence was, curse you and your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Yeah, pretty much. That was the vibe I got out of that sequence. Yeah. And then they make it back to the fortress where they first found the staff and it turns out that Ultron has used the vibranium to make a giant space engine thing that's buried underneath the the mountain. He's, he's turned the entire city into equivalent of a Gundam colony drop. Pretty much, yeah. Gets or, it high enough and then drops it on the, on the place. It's like, yeah. dick move, Ultron, dick move. Well, not only that, it, he picks it up and then he throws it back down. Um, but yeah, so the Avengers effectively are trying to save as many people off this thing as possible. And the good old 64 turns up, the helicarrier from the first Avengers. Oh, no, no, no. That, that was cool. Going, they're literally going, well, where else? It doesn't look like we're going to get out of this one, guys. Yeah. And they're At just going, the love where, of you. where else are we going to get a view like this? And my thought process at that point was, this would be a perfect time for a heli carrier and pop out of the clouds. Yeah, See, uh, I would have, I would have loved it if the, if if Al Noah she just gets stabbed straight through the back. Who, um, Natalia? Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. It would have been the perfect way to, if they were gonna do like a big shock kill. That would be the perfect way. Like, look out, cut back, and then. Yeah. Dead. Um. Then. Yeah, they do a different shock kill. Yeah. But we, we'll get to that. Oh, it's not that shocking. Yeah. Oh, kill, killing off Tony Stark is pretty shocking. <laughs> no. Sadly, <laughs> they didn't do that. <laughs> it's not like he's been a confirmed for the next Captain America movie. Well, no. we know no, he was nice to, that they brought in uh, 
War Machine. Oh yeah, they brought in War Machine and um, Captain America's sidekick. Um, Falcon. Oh, Falcon. Wind Boy. Oh, Falcon only gets a, gets an appearance at the party and then at the very end of the credits. So he's not. No, no, really... he he was in. Wasn't he in the battle in the, the no, sky as well? No, he was not. That okay. was War Machine that only. Was okay. War Machine. okay. I, was, I know. Fighting. War. I know War Machine and Iron Man were both buzzing around him, buzzing around the carrier, protecting it. No, that was just, that was just Rhodey and Tony. Yeah. yeah, that was just Rhodey and Tony getting yeah. their first actual proper battle to- sequence time together. And that was pretty fucking epic. Since Iron Man Two. Yeah. And they never actually had a proper flying, shooting type action sequence until now. Until now, it was relatively small. This is a full-on battle. Um, so they evacuate everyone from this, the remnants of this flying city thing, asteroid thing, onto, onto, the, the, heli- heli- onto the helicarrier. And then Ultron's like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to drop this thing now and just deal with whoever's left at the end of this thing. And because he's had his ass kicked by Vision at this point, he's had his ass kicked by everybody... Um, he's had his ass kicked by Natasha, for Christ's sake. That was funny. The... Um, and so okay. he escapes onto one of the onto the Quinjet, and he's sort of buzzing around. And one of his clones presses the device that makes it instead of boost up, it turns and starts boosting down. And Iron Man's underneath this thing, sort of going, Clark, "Oh God, now what the hell's going to happen?" Try, trying to do the best he can to stop it. And then, um, Hulk, uh, sorry, Thor does a thing, and then a thing happens, and then stuff no, no, explodes. No, Tony... Tony shoots the underside, the core, yeah. with his chest cannon. That's right. Is no longer since the arc reactor is no longer needed to power his heart. It's exponentially more powerful. Put, it can put more power into that. Yeah. Now, because, yeah. by doing that, he started an overload, which Thor then finished off with a fully charged hammer hit. Yeah, and and don't forget about um just just before this happened, um Hulk jumps across with Natalia lands on the helicarrier and put carefully sort of places her down on that and then Natasha. Im- Natasha sorry and then immediately jumps back up onto the island and then it jumps into the back of the Quinjet as Ultron's trying to get away and all you hear oh, is, is Ultron is after the after Ultron in the Quinjet has shot the shit out of everybody uh, yeah everyone else and and, and killed we're... Quicksilver yeah yeah, I was going to avoid the kill part, but whatever. Um, anyway. Hey, it shows old Marvel is not afraid to kill their characters. Yeah, well, a minor character, relatively speaking. One of them, ha- Someone had to die in this movie, and it wasn't going to be one of the main guys. We knew someone was going to die. Besides so- them trying to kill Java? Jarvis? Jarvis. Yeah. Um, anyway, so and- Hulk jumps into the back of the Quinjet, and all you hear is Ultron go, Oh, for the love of God, and he gets tossed out the back. <laughs> This is still probably one of my favourite moments. That yeah, that... like oh, for the love of God! <laughs> and then Natasha tries to convince um, Hulk. Hulk to come back, and Hulk's like, "No," nah, and he flies off and disappears. No, ne- quote, never to be seen again, sort of thing. Somewhere else on the planet, he'll be back. Um, and he'll be found t- again. Tony, they they set up a new Avengers sort of HQ building thing. And, away from the tower. Yeah, away from the tower. And Tony Stark's like, yep, that's it, I'm done, I'm out. Have fun with your sort of group of new recruits. And he leaves. And then it cuts back to Captain America with, Nata- with um, Natasha. Natasha. Well, wow, why can I not get her name right? My- because your brain is derping badly. Yeah, my, my brain derps normally. Anyway. Just, just call her Black Widow. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Um, so Captain America walks out with Black Widow and it's like, yeah, we've now got this new team of Avengers that we're going to train up to sort of be the next Avengers to replace sort of Thor, Iron Man and Hulk who are effectively out of Avengers for the moment. Um, cause they're and not... Hawkeye. Yeah, and, yeah, and Hawkeye. Hawkeye retired. Hawkeye retired. Well, retired. Considering in the Thank middle of the battle his pep talk to um, Scarlet Witch was... Look at me! I'm fighting with gods, and I'm armed with a bow, and we're fighting robots. Oh, what arrow. the hell part of this makes sense? And <laughs> she's just like, yeah, "It's actually not a bad point." <laughs> and if you walk out this door now, you're an Avenger. And she walks out and just starts kicking ass. Um, and... Outright fucking nuking everything. But oh yeah. The outright nuke doesn't happen until Ultron kills a brother. Oh yeah, and that's sort of yeah, that ends she... badly. Yeah, after he gets tossed out of the Quinjet, he winds up in that damn train that he caused to wreck earlier. Yeah, which I thought was hilarious. At which point, she walks in and goes, Do you know what it's like to die? Uh, it's kind of like this. And 
telekinetically rips his heart out. Of what what is we assume is his heart. And yeah. It's pretty much the arc reactor carrying him. Yeah. Just just yanks it straight out of his chest and crushes it telekinetically. And it's just like wow. It kind of feels like that. That dark. And uh it's while she's doing that that the other that the other um Guys do Ultron the thing. body gets over and does the triggers the reverse. Yeah, triggers the reverse. Up. But yeah, um, so it looks like the next Avengers team, the one that the animated TV show is going to be based on. I could be wrong. I can't. Remember. I haven't actually looked too much into that. But Marvel's doing an animated cinematic universe canon Avengers te- um, show, and the way they set it up was Captain America, Black Widow, um, Falcon, uh, War Machine, and Scarlet Witch. Was there any I've forgotten? Just Not yet. Those five. Vision. Vision, that's right, Vision. 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 I was trying to think what the other one was. Vision's taking Thor's place. Yeah, and... um, Because, hey, he can hold the hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, buddy. That was pretty good. And has an infinity stone in his forehead. What can go wrong with this picture? Just just seeing Thor's face just is like... Yeah. yeah, I like it how that at the beginning they're sort of doing that that test to see who can lift it. Captain America walks over and actually moves. And you see the look of... Oh, oh, oh... (laughs) And then it's like, oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah. And then later on, they're like, it's time to gear up. And Vision just casually passes Thor's hammer to Thor. And Thor just looks at it with this sort of bemused look of, what just happened? And what about later in the middle of the battle, when Vision has just literally slammed one of the Ultron bots with the hammer, and then passes it over to Thor and goes, this is rather exquisitely weighted. Yeah. <laughs> Thor does a demonstration. Yeah, it has to be, or you get too much power on the swing. Yeah. <laughs> lose control <laughs> it's like they're discussing a golf swing in the middle of a firefight well does that surprise you with them no uh, yeah that was some of the stuff that made the, that made the movie it got past the forced lines and forced comedy of the early part when everything was yeah. falling apart yeah it, it, the end of the movie definitely made up for the start of the movie it, it wasn't like the first avengers where it was sort of sort of was on game from the blank of a better way of putting it from almost the beginning and had its couple of lull bits in the middle and then was really good at the end this avengers was sort of really good at the beginning had its lull bits in the middle and was really good at the end similar sort of thing but i reckon it probably could have been 20 minutes shorter realistically <laughs> that's just your knees talking yeah that's minus, just my knees talking it's a lot of the ads yeah. See, it, it, see, my problem is if speaking I of, speaking of the previews, whole, holy Disney trailer overload. Yeah. <laughs> so. hey, it could have been worse. You could have had fairies. Tinkerbell in there. Yeah. Let's just yeah. let's just pretend that didn't happen. So I was anyway. when I saw the Disney thing, I was actually half expecting it to be a Frozen two ad. So there's <laughs> one thing we haven't actually mentioned yet. The end of the actual end, the the uh the mid credit scene. Yeah, the mid credit scene. <laughs> Thanos gets his hand on the Infinity Gauntlet and is like, it begins. Thanos' re- exact response saying here is, if you, well, yeah, I'll just have to do it myself. Pretty much. As it comes down to, if you want it done right, you get off your ass and do it yourself. Yeah. Now, and they this sort of a question. they actually did a bit of a in the movie they when Thor was having his night terrors um, they mentioned what they mentioned the infinity stones they showed the four infinity stones that they have been showed four out of the six yeah they've shown the four that have been revealed so we had the tesseract we had the red mist thing from yeah. Thor Dark World we had the purple one from Guardians of the Guardians. Galaxy and now the yellow yeah. yeah so we've got the the tesseract is the space stone the scepter was the mind stone and that was in, held inside this the crystal in loki's scepter that's vision now has that then we've got the ether which is the red goopy stuff was a stone but i don't know which stone it was called um and then the purple one from a from guardians Got of the it. galaxy was the power stone but that still leaves two left that we and don't remember, know. And if I remember correctly, the colours from I believe there's a green one. Correct. And a there's a there's a there's a blue one which is the Tesseract, a yeah. yellow one which is Loki's the, staff. Yeah, the, the mind stone. The a purple one which is the power one. We've got an orange, an orange one. Orange one. Orange and green to come yet. An orange, orange one and a green one. Yeah. yeah. 
So probably the probably one I'm thinking is probably w one in might maybe Guardians of the Galaxy two. Yep. And then probably one in either Thor or Captain America. Well, I don't think there's going to be one in Captain America. So probably what Thor I, Ragnarok then. What I expect is Thor Ragnarok will have. Um, well, think about it. That we've had one's been in Captain America, one's been in. Um, Avengers as a whole, one's been in Thor, one's been in Guardians. If, unless, unless, unless they pull out an Iron Man movie that we don't know about. Yeah, which they won't. So I don't expect one to be in... Um, in... Si in Civil War. I don't expect one to be in no, Ant-Man. I don't, I don't see one in Ant-Man. It wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense. Yeah, what I do expect is maybe one in Thor, and the last one is going to be in it, the first part of Infinity Wars. I think my because like, it's a two parter, yeah. Yeah, it's a two parter movie. So the first part, hell, the first part might have even have the two missing ones in it because he's gonna have to raid Asgard to steal the Tesseract to get one. Um, the second one is admittedly that could be what happens. Well, that could be what happens in Ragnarok. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Hence the title name Ragnarok. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm gonna have to go, guys. Uh, I'm gonna head up to the station. So. Yep, we're almost done anyway, so... Okay, if you if we can wrap this up in a minute or two, I'm going to just stay for the end. All right, cool. So anyway, this is just predictions for Infinity War, the next one. So Ragnarok is probably going to be where they steal the 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 Tesseract gets stolen. Guardians of the Galaxy two will probably um, be where the red stone is stolen. And and, purple. and they're well red and purple. They're on different places, so that might be where they get stolen. It, that might be when Infinity War Part One is sort of sets up. <laughs> At the end of yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The fourth one is on Vision. Vision will probably have his stolen, maybe even in part two. He he'll probably be the last one to lose his stone, um, and the other two have to turn up at some point. Yeah, which is the no way. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, we we're, we're getting ready for Ant Man, which is coming up in a couple of months, and Jurassic World's coming up fairly soon. Which they really so. were not to stop playing with dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> Never. Never. As uh, it, long as they don't actually do it, we'll be fine. If I had a pet Velociraptor, I'd be happy, damn it. I've got to deal with these dumb three bastards in the cage behind me. And trust me, oh, they're no Velociraptors. Okay. They're barely okay, smart well, enough to know when to eat food. Okay, food? one thing. Do you know how in the film clip they've got the raptors running with them? Yeah. The raptor squad. It's actually because the guys actually trained them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, it, shows, it shows that in the new trailer that came out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go, guys. Yeah, anyway, we're going to go. Um, we'll catch you guys on Monday night with the next podcast. Um, back on usual time. Back on usual time. So we'll catch you when we catch you. See you all. Bye. Bye. Hurry up. Hurry up. Back with talking. So long and thanks for all the fish. Do, 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 do. I don't remember any of the words. Are we actually finished now? Or? We, we are now. 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 Now.